and his name is Bond, Gordon Bond. Well, you, you thought I was going to say somebody else, but yeah, Gordon Bond is the owner of Bond Arms, and today we're at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, our favorite indoor facility. We want to talk about, of course, the Stinger line of pistols from Bond Arms, but today we're going to do a little change. You have seen me using the Stinger pistols before, uh, both the Stinger, standard Stinger in 380, and the Stinger RS in 9mm, but now we have the new B6 grips from Bond Arms. These are the newest and greatest grips that add that little bit that you actually needed to make them more comfortable. So I'm going to show you here the way the, the grip goes and the way you actually have room for your pinky here. You can have your whole hand holding that pistol and it's going to help you mitigate recoil and is going to help you for a more comfortable grip in both pistols, okay? 380 and the 9 millimeter. Of course, there's two, also two differences is the backs of the grips. You, you can get them with a smooth back or a textured grip back. So it's pretty cool. So what we're going to do today, we're going to talk about these. We're not going to shoot them because we shot them before. It just basically is the ergonomics. Later on, we'll do some gel testing with both 9 and 380 to show the effectiveness of this tiny little barrel with premium ammo. But that's coming soon, and we'll use these grips at that time. One thing I can say is that you've got to be careful when you order grips for either of these uh, two pistols because they are different. You have, the, you have to specify whether you have the all stainless steel um, RS, uh, Stinger RS, or if you have one of the original Stingers, the standard Stinger. When you look in the, in the website, you have to pick which pistol you have and be careful. They're not interchangeable. They are actually different. So Marty installed these for me. We're going to show you pictures. A simple install. Take the, take the screw of the old grip out. Put the one half of the grip in. It has two pin, two locator pins, just to keep it straight. Put the other half, and put a screw through it, and that's it. It's simple. It's just a slotted uh, screwdriver, and all that is very very simple. It takes seconds to do, maybe one minute if that. If you're real slow like me, one minute. So, yeah, it's a good setup. Fits your hand perfectly well. I highly recommend them. That's like if one of the biggest accessories you can have for the Stinger or Stinger RS is this. Another accessory, of course, is a holster. We're going to talk about this later. Desert holsters here in, in Phoenix make this great holster. And you see, it's a pocket holster that fits in your pocket. We're going to talk about pocket carry here in another video, but I'm just giving you a preview on this holster. So keep an eye on it. So guys, thanks for watching. And like always, guys, please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. And remember, please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.